We get more information about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra today in terms of its variable refresh rates, which is actually really good news. And it looks like the Galaxy Fold 2 is gonna make us wait. So first let's get onto that Galaxy Note 20 Ultra news. And Samsung introduced high refresh rate screens this year in the S20 series, which really are just fantastic. On the S20 phones, you can choose between a 120 or a 60 hertz refresh rate, and that's it. But anyway, with this new LTPO technology, Samsung would be able to switch between anything they like, and it looks like they're gonna give users that option with a dynamic or adaptive refresh rate option in the menus. So if you pick this option, the phone will actually adaptively and dynamically change the refresh rate based on how you're actually using the phone. So if you are playing games, for example, or swiping through menus and swiping up and down, reading text, every time it recognizes you touching the screen, it will whack it up to the high refresh rate to give you the absolute best and smoothest usage possible. But if it realizes that you are not using or touching the screen, for example, when watching a film or a video, then it may switch back down to a lower refresh rate automatically and dynamically. And this obviously has good implications when it comes to the battery life of the phone. This feature was found in a firmware update that will be coming to the Note 20. So good news there for that dynamic changing of the refresh rates. It should mean better battery, but it looks like in this update, there still is no option to choose both high refresh rates and high resolutions. As we know, Samsung seem to limit both of these being used together. So if you do want the highest refresh rates, you'll have to stick at full HD resolution. If you want quad HD resolution, then it looks like you won't be able to use any high refresh rates. And when it comes to the Galaxy Fog 2, lots of talk online about the actual release date of this device. And it looks like it may well be advertised or teased, tipped at the same 5th of August Galaxy Unpacked event that the Note 20 will be launched at, but definitely coming later than those phones in terms of sales availability. Actually, Ice Universe said that in China, it may be the 20th of September that we see that device in China anyway. International launches, you would assume, would be around a week or so either side of that date. So we may just see the first unveiling on the 5th of August and then have to wait maybe as much as two months before being able to buy that device. Anyway, good news about the Note 20 Ultra's screen refresh rate being adaptive probably not coming to the Note 20, the vanilla variant, because that won't be getting high refresh rates at all, according to the leaks. Let me know what you think of that in the comments, as always. That is it for now, though. Thank you for watching this time. Sub if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.